Bedford, Sissy Spacek, and Casey Affleck, along with actor Danny Glover, are making a movie here in the Tri-State. And the village of Bethel served as a set for the film today. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live. He's in Bethel, where he got a glimpse of some of the actors and lots of locals who are enjoying the excitement. Hi, Jeff. Well, good evening. State Route 125 in downtown Bethel is closed for a few blocks to allow the filming of a scene of the Robert Redford movie. And a whole lot of ordinary people, get it? Ordinary people, the movie in 1980 that won Robert Redford Best Director in his directorial debut. Well, a whole lot of ordinary people have shown up here in Bethel hoping to get the glimpse of a star. This is a big deal in a small place. Lights, camera, action. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awesome for this little town. <laughs> Hollywood legend Robert Redford filming a movie in tiny Bethel, Ohio, in front of dozens of stargazers. Oh, this is awesome. It kind of puts us on the map. We're, I mean, we were already on the map, but it kind of makes us big time. Hollywood came to Bethelwood. Bethelwood! Bethelwood! The film, called The Old Man and the Gun, is about an aging bank robber. Bethel is a stand-in for Small Town USA in the 1970s. Bethel's now closed Midway Theater is being used for one scene. We saw Redford and co-star Sissy Spacek doing a different scene at a Bethel gas station. Not bad for a town of 2,800 people. I guess the small town feel, you've got the gas station that they're using, which you don't see that anymore. They actually pump your gas, so you don't see that much. Um, older buildings. And the movie is a one-screen movie theater, right? In yes, it is. Yes, Midway. We'd love to see that up and running again, so hopefully um, that will get a little interest in that. That would be fabulous. I guess you could call this Access Bethel. Well, I got a picture of Robert Redford this morning when I was walk taking my norm, uh, normal walk up the alley. He was standing out on his cell phone, so I just snapped a picture of it. I just live right across the street over there. At least one local will be in the movie, a 1969 Ford pickup truck owned by Rusty and Mary Durbin. So how did the producers find them and their vehicle? It's small town people talk. The Durbins were offered money for the use of their truck. They said no, just use it anyway. It's just going to be amazing. I mean, Robert Redford, he's just a legend, and um, it's such an honor for him to come to our town. There's more to life than money, and uh, so we did turn down the money, and we just uh, we wanted to offer it to them so that they could use it in the movie, and we just can't wait. We're really super excited. Bethel, Ohio, coming soon to a theater or from a theater near you. And we've got people from all around coming in to see this movie being made. It's exciting. We're proud of our small town. Now, I have seen Robert Redford, as you saw, in Sissy Spacek. I have not yet seen uh, Danny Glover or Casey Affleck, but maybe they'll be here tonight. Of course, Casey Affleck is best known for his roles in the insurance commercials as the duck. Affleck! All right, not really. Now, if I was the producer of this movie, when it is released, when they have the world premiere of this movie, they should have it right here at the Midway Theater in Bethel, Ohio, where some of this movie is being shot. The movie theater, of course, has been closed for a couple of years, but... Either maybe they could make it a permanent reopening with something else, or at least get it open one more time to have a debut of this movie. That would be even bigger than filming it here. Live in Bethelwood, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. <laughs> I tell you, that's a great idea, and I think you should be in the movie. They need a little humor. I'll try. I mean, Bethel Wood! I've been working on it. <laughs> great job. We don't have a scheduled release date for the movie just yet, but we'll let you know when we know. Other news.